This is an overview of some of the equations used in the construction of a coffee can antenna used at 2.45 gigahertz. These uh, antennas are starting to be used in uh, homebrew radar systems. So I thought I'd cover the uh, construction of an uh, actual antenna and some of the equations used. The coffee cans are uh, usually 11.5 ounce uh, standard coffee cans with a opening of approximately uh, 3.9 inches. The uh, length of the coffee can isn't doesn't really matter as much as the uh, diameter. The diameter sets the mode of propagation. A small little quarter wave probe antenna will be constructed and added to, into the can. The uh, dimensions from the closed end of the can and the actual length of the probe antenna are what uh, you need to construct. To calculate the uh, half wave wavelength of a signal in free space, use the equation uh, 5902 divided by the frequency in megahertz. So for uh, 2450 megahertz, half wave wavelength is uh, 2.41 inches. Divide that by uh, two again, or divide it in half to get the uh, quarter wavelength. Free space wavelength will be a uh, 1.2 inches. Uh, circular waveguides, which is this, the coffee can is. They have a low frequency cutoff. It's actually called a uh, modes. It's a mode of the uh, propagation of the signals inside the waveguide itself. The low frequency cutoff is uh, based on this equation for a 3.9 inch diameter waveguide. The low frequency cutoff is a uh, 1,774 megahertz. The high frequency cutoff, or the next mode, uh, propagates through uh, set by this equation. And for uh, our waveguide, the coffee can waveguide at 3.9 inches, the high frequency technically is 2,317 megahertz. You're going to notice that uh, we're operating at the wrong mode, but in reality, there's enough play that the uh, 2450 megahertz uh, signal will propagate in these uh, homebrew uh, coffee can antennas. Because the uh, waveguide essentially slows down the speed of uh, electromagnetic propagation, the uh, wavelength of our signal is going to be slightly longer. This is determined by this equation. It's based on the uh, operating frequency in uh, megahertz and the uh, cutoff frequency for our, our low frequency cutoff, which was uh, 1774 megahertz. So at uh, 2450 megahertz, our operating frequency, our waveguide, wavelength is uh, going to be 6.98 inches. You can see this is uh, slightly longer than our free space wavelength which was uh, 4.82 inches. The, uh, from the closed end of the, the coffee can this end, to the uh, probe antenna, there will be one quarter waveguide wavelength which is going to be approximately 1.8 to 1.7 inches and the length of the uh, probe antenna itself will be a quarter wavelength free space. In reality, we want to make this a little bit longer because we want to trim it down for the best SWR. So this length of the uh, probe antenna be can be uh, 1.5 to 1.2 inches. The actual probe antenna will be made using uh, some round copper tubing, 332nd inch round copper tubing from uh, KNS 1186. You want to cut it using a nice uh, small tubing cutter like that. After that, um, you want to take a round needle file. File a little gap, open gap, and you want to slide your the center uh, pin on your SMA connector into the uh, center of the tubing like that. So you have a nice little solder, little solder hole. That'll make a nice uh, mechanically strong, uh, and electrically strong uh, connection. In this example, what I did, uh, then I took some fine, uh, one of these fine sanding foam boards from the you can buy at the hobby store, and I filed down any of the solder sticking out. So it's a uh, the solder is a poor conductor, so you want to have just the uh, minimum amount of solder possible. Two 
So I actually drilled a hole. You want to mark a, what's you're going to find, at least on this manufacturer, the Maxwell Health brand, the groove. You don't want to have, you don't want your SMA connector to line up into the groove, so I back it off a bit. As you can see, I marked the 1.8. I actually have it about 1.7. That way, the uh, SMA connector will sit flat. After you mark it, you want to use a step bit to uh, slowly drill through your uh, quarter inch diameter hole for the SMA connector. Using the step bit makes a nice uh, clean round hole. The polarization is set by the, uh, the probe antenna itself, so this would be in a vertical mode. This would be a horizontal mode. Even though this waveguide is circular, the actual uh, electromagnetic propagation will be linear. It will be based on the uh, position of the probe antenna. Of course, if you're receiving a vertically polarized signal, you want your uh, transmitters and your receivers to all to be the uh, same polarization. Um, I'll cover another video on actually uh, trimming the probe for the minimum SWR. That'll be I'll show a simple setup we can, or a, a usable setup for uh, trimming uh, antennas at microwave frequencies. It'll it can get pretty involved, but uh, there's some tips and tricks we can do to minimize the cost and the uh, get reasonable results. The actual, since the uh, diameter of the waveguide is your critical uh, dimension, you want to aim for something that's a 0.66 to 0.76 your uh, free space wavelength. So in reality, at 2.45 uh, gigahertz, we wanted a, a can with the approximate opening of uh, 3.17 to 3.66 inches. The um, our uh, coffee cans are just a tad bit too uh, big, but they do work. The overall length um, doesn't really matter. It does set the gain. Uh, a little slightly longer can will give you a little bit more gain, but uh, it doesn't really matter, especially for uh, low power uh, applications that this will be used for.